Yeah. Sounds like a good weekend. All right, so there's only one place back here, the back of the barn. It's a little scary back here, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ella, oh, Ellie's inside. Uh, okay. Hey, can we bang her while she's hooked up? No, she's busy getting banged by someone else. Oh, okay. Bryn. Uh, let's see. Can we bang him while he's banging her? <laughs> this is a different room. Oh. The literal giant of a man seems cramped, almost cooped in such a tiny little space. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. He isn't in here on his own. Uh, the pair of curvaceous cowgirls also residing within the stall. Each one is wrapped around one that chittles it on his powerful legs as they are worshipping the thick egg. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so... Okay, the scale of the brute before you is only made more apparent by the okay, size of his hands. Uh, let's see. It's not enough. <laughs> let's see. Uh, okay, now I want you to carefully consider... The, uh, okay, you could either... Let's leave. Yeah, nothing good could come of this. Ah, yeah. oh, come on. I wonder... Yeah, I honestly wonder if any... Well... I, I wonder if there's any woman who would uh, on YouTube who would do a playthrough of this, or would she just be like uh, too embarrassed? Well, you know, there's a, there's at least two girls that do cam shows, so I'm sure they'd be up for it. Yeah, exactly. That's basically what you need. I mean, yeah. Okay, so if only we had tits to to uh, swing around on camera, we have yeah. more viewers. I mean, like the good kind of tits. I mean, I know we have stabby, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody really wants to see my kids swinging around. All right, let us uh, quickly go right all the way to the south without looking at that cyborg again. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We've already been to the ice cream shop. We've already been up go. there. This is the only place we haven't been. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Short grass, short grass, short grass. As long as we don't run into any hyenas, we'll be all right, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what were those, uh, knolls? Whatever it was that raped you in, uh, Sarah Hunt. Probably an MRA. Yeah, he just kept going back there, too. He never learned his lesson. <laughs> <laughs> or, or he did learn his lesson and was, was fine with the outcome. Yeah, exactly. Uh, sitting by the gate is a new Texan, da 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 da, -da. Let's see. Okay, so there's a farmer. We can talk to him. Let's talk to him. Let's see. Right. Damn varmints in the fields. It's a downright epidemic, I tell you. There's got to be hundreds of the big, ugly bastards out there. Sucks for you, you say. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. They're eating the crop, and now apparently they've got their dirty noses in one of Gianna's silicone shipments. <laughs> Ran off loads of the stuff. Supposedly they eat it. Yuck. Uh, All right, let's uh, let's help her. He, okay, uh, that's a guy. Um, oh, him. He huffs at the question. I wish this here used to be my daddy's job. He tasked me to clear the little bastards out, but uh, look at me. Damn treatment backfired on me. Was supposed to turn me into a big buff hunk who could wrestle these varmints like that Steph Urson chick tackled that Nailene on the TV. I don't think that really went well for her. Maybe he didn't watch the same episode we did. <laughs> but no, I can't even use the damn gun my dad gave me. Kicked so hard it damn near broke my nose. And you know what the little blue critter did? Just made this hi little, this hissy little laughing noise and shat right on my boot while I bled everywhere. That's unfortunate. Maybe you there can help the little feller out. A new codex entry unlocked varmints. There is a shit in my boot. <laughs> Well, now the question is, if we help, do we get to fuck the There's varmints? There's a cunt snake in my boot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's help him out. We haven't had a quest to uh, New Texas yet. I was going to say, as long as you can fuck the varmint. Uh, I, don't I guess we'll find that out. We'll find, we'll find out. Oh, really? Hey, I owe you one, brother. Uh, every varmint you wrangle down should be a big help. I bet Gianna be stoked if you found her silicone shipments out there. She's off in the milk barn, I reckon. Yeah, I'd reckon. We, we know where she is. What do you mean, wrangle? Um, 
Oh, well, the off-worlders aren't allowed to carry guns, you know. Something about Russ and cowgirls, I reckon. Anyway, less than you want to get treated and become a citizen, I can't give you Bertha here. Sorry, I gotta net the little bastards with this. And he hands you a lasso. For sake. <laughs> Thanks a million, brother. Oh, name's Cameron, by the way. I'll be down here till dusk. If you've got any rank of varmints for me to pop. Might could throw you some credits for him, even. So you've gained a lasso. It's been added to key items. Oh, I see. So do we want to go hunt varmints? So this really is New Texas, because they hate, uh, they hate non-citizens. Yeah. Yeah, let's go wrestle those varmints. Sure. Uh, we don't, we don't allow guns in New Texas. A bunch of crazy moose lambs will go shoot up all our art exhibits. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, I don't know if, I think you just wander... Yeah, let's just keep going west. Uh, it's a scarecrow. Trees. Oh, there's a varmint. Easily five meters high and a meter. Oh no, this, that's describing the cane plant. I thought it was describing the dimensions of the creature. Uh, okay, so the varmint growls at you and lunges. Okay, so the lasso. Okay, I don't think we can. No, we can't shoot him. We just have to lasso him. Yeah, so it's not going to be a pair of specials. Do we have a... Uh... Oh, would they let us... Oh, these are flash grenades, so I, I guess they didn't... <laughs> okay, so... Lasso? Oh, we can yeah. fantasize, whatever that means. Uh, fantasize about your foe until you're helpless and on your knees before them. Okay, no, no, don't do that. Okay. Lasso? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we got it down to 88. Our shields are down. Uh, let's see. So we did 27 to it. It did 8 to us. Okay, we still have shields up. Okay, now it's actually uh, damaged so us directly. At this point. Oh, we got and this. we got it. Woohoo! There we go. So we got a varmint in our inventory. Uh, and we got 250 XP, which is pretty good for uh, the level we're at. Okay, so we probably need to rest to get our health back up. Yep, just sit down on this here field. Alright. Alright, so let's just... I think you just grind on these uh, things and... Need to rest periodically. Oh, good to me. There's another one. I don't know. It's just, it's just unfortunate that you can't have sex with the vermin. <laughs> I think yeah, it like seems like you should things. be able to. Seems like you should. Can you masturbate at him? Is that a special attack we can eventually gain? I think that the fields are. Uh, yeah. You okay? So yeah, you can masturbate in the fields. Uh, because oh, that's they're, cool. You're away from uh, yeah, town, should, I guess. We should get that lust down. Let's go with the uh, the. Let's go with random again. Okay. Oh, are you sure you don't want to be butt finger? <laughs> only, only if it comes if okay, the yeah, god yeah, of the random number generator. Butt finger. Butt finger. I, <laughs> I was gonna like do a song for it. I was, uh, I, I got, I found the, the uh, karaoke version of the theme from Goldfinger. <laughs> and I just like halfway through it I thought this is stupid I'm not going to do this <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, but finger the man with the Midas touch <laughs> oh man sounds so, like yeah, a plan to me let's, let's go to the codex you wanted to know uh, okay uh, race varmints see you can look up anything on the codex one of the surviving native life forms uh, are descended from much larger blah blah blah. Dinosaur-like creatures. The fire, uh, just, uh, just, uh, a silicone-based life form, roughly resembling a very large Terran dog or perhaps a lizard. Uh, their jaws are extremely powerful. Uh, deaths caused by these creatures are very rare. Okay. 
Oh, there's a such thing as cunt snakes. Yeah. Wait, oh, there you, is? you don't remember those? We found those on the jungle. Yeah. Here's <laughs> no, the stuff that we found. We found Osar, the dog people. Okay. Uh, Galotians, the slime people. Humans, some kind of weird ape like creature. Uh, Kathrit. I'm just going to assume. I'm going to assume you've slept with all of them. Uh, uh, not a not a varmint, apparently. Oh, dude, uh, I read some dumb thing. I mean, I'm reading, like, there, there's so much shit being pushed out by, like, uh, these weird feminists these days. I read something about, and I don't remember who it was, but it was it was one of those, I, 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 it might have been Brianna Wu or something like that, but uh, she said, uh, she said that she didn't, she she liked fem Femshep, female shepherd from Mass Effect, but she didn't count a dark-skinned, uh, female shepherd as a woman of color because it had no impact on the story and I thought that is the dumbest thing I have ever read didn't it like the very definition of non-racism though <laughs> 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 I thought this is the most sheltered idiotic white woman in the world it's like I, you know it's you know however thousands of years in the future or whatever and it's like are 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 we still you know are are aliens I mean, I mean, here's the thing. You know, most science fiction, starting, like, way back with, like, Uhura and fucking, you know, LeVar Burton's characters, like, like the, the future has all... The, a lot of the science fiction is, is sensible enough, not even brave enough, but sensible enough to imagine a post-racial human society, right? But even if we weren't a post-racial society in the future, why the fuck would aliens care? You know what I mean? Well, we it's, just like, know it's like you're going to go to a planet. Ago, people they don't know own people they don't know. It's like you're going to go to a planet of the pink haired cat Pete women, and they're going to put up like a sign on their cafe no blacks. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> it's, it, why would well, you that know, make black a cats difference? are unlucky. What? Black cats are unlucky. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, black humans are okay. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I just don't understand. Why would. How does she think the story should have been different for a black shepherd? You know? I don't know. Maybe it should have been like Mammy. Like What's a parody that? of a black person or something. Constantly looking around for like watermelon and chicken. Yeah, watermelon planet. That's horrible. I might edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I'm thinking she's expecting. You know, obviously she she's... A racist, or she wouldn't have given a shit. Yeah. Well, it's like that lady from uh, what is that fucking? I forget what the college was, but she was she made the the statement about how like white people weren't inv invited to the unity event. Yeah. And then basically got up and did like a speech to say how she wasn't racist that the school promoted. Yeah. And the whole time she had a black girl there, like the blackest girl in the room, holding the microphone for her instead of having a <laughs> microphone stand. <laughs> And she was obviously a white girl. <laughs> yeah. Like, how much more obviously racist can you fucking get? <laughs> it's like she might as well have stood on that black girl's back or, like, used her as human furniture. It's... Oh, it was amazing. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I mean, yeah, that's like, I'm not racist. Uh, I just did the other day. I had, you know, a person of color carrying my luggage, you know? Oh, you know, it's, it's that, that I'm not racist, but... Yeah. Immediately you know the next thing is going to be incredibly racist. So here's the cunt snakes. Here's the Karakoras, the frog people. Here's a membrane. I'm going to have to start my own game on this. What's that? I'm going to start my own game on this. Some of these things are pretty entertaining looking. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the art is a lot... The art's a lot improved. Uh, is much improved over what we uh, saw in uh, Corruption of Champions where they'd have like a little sprite there. But uh, you can actually write stuff for this. You can write stuff for the official game. And if you submit it and they like it, they'll include it. Oh, that's smart that they have a submission process. Yeah, that's a big, big thing. Uh, well, yeah, but I mean, how high could their standards be? Well, I'm just like, it'll encourage people to, to throw stuff in and like want to play the game because they'll be like, oh, maybe if I write something, my, my part will be in the game and then I can like play the game and see it. Yeah. Uh, for Corruption of Champions, it's open source, so you can actually uh, just make stuff on your own privately. But for this, I don't think it's open source yet. They uh, 
it has to go through a submission process. But uh, like, there's there's lots of uh, content mods for Corruption of Champions. As a matter of fact, when uh, I don't think Sarahan watches these, uh, but when when he finishes his first playthrough, uh, we might go back into Corruption Champions with uh, some of the more popular uh, mods that people have suggested to us in the comments. Oh, that's entertaining. I didn't know there were mods for it. Oh, yeah. That's pretty yeah. crazy, because it's like a text-based game. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's not that difficult to mod for, if you just know. Okay, uh, although I have looked at some of the code, uh, you can make it really involved and say, okay, there's, you know, a hundred different conditions that can change things. Wow. So we're still uh, looking through this, the so, fields? Uh, we, we finished uh, going through the codex. Cool. So uh, let's just hunt varmints until we're done. Oh, there's silicone on the ground. I'm going to take it. And uh, All right. I see our inventory is much larger. Uh, let's see. There's rolled in two varmints on the silicone thing. Man, that's worth a thousand credits. Okay. Oh, another varmint. Oh, and it uses right. a stun. Yeah, it looks like we're doing all right, though. Nope, nope. We might get fucked. Uh, Should we uh, just try and leave? Yeah, now let's run. Okay. Nope, oh, shit. What? Defeat. Uh, missing some of your credits. Uh, we still have over a thousand. <laughs> oh, they <laughs> robbed us. They robbed credit. us. At least there was no, uh, it could have been worse. Let's just say, leave it at that. Yeah, our anal virginity is intact. Okay, and, uh, That's all that matters. we have too much loss, so let's get rid of that. But, yeah, seriously, I don't understand. I mean, the only, the only way I could think of, I mean... How the fuck was how the fuck is like different human races supposed to affect a space travel game? I mean, it's like I could understand like in this game if you were playing uh, like an Asian character and you were lactose intolerant, you know, a lot of the milking scenes on New Texas might end badly for you with like explosive <laughs> diarrhea afterwards. But that's about it. I don't see why space aliens would care. Or, or really, they shouldn't if you're writing it well. Yeah. <clears throat> No, see, if you don't address the specific issues that they want in the on their terms, then it's it's awful. You're a racist and a, a bigot or something. Yeah. Look at Wheaton. Yeah. You know he made that that giant fucking awesome. Uh, what is it? Uh, the second Guardian, not Guardians. Fuck yeah. yeah. I can't remember the name of it. Avengers. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, watched that. Chased and, him off of Twitter. Yeah, I watched that after uh, that whole brouhaha, you know, started. So, you know, of course, I was looking for, you know, what they were angry about. And to be honest, I mean, this is, they, they were um, especially hypersensitive about it this time. They just, they complete. oh, and that, uh, the milk is worn off. Oh, good. I lost the zero. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the two things they were worried about was the guy that made the Prima Nocta joke. Like, if I, if I manage to pick up Thor's hammer, I'm reinstituting Prima Nocta because it'll be like yes. King of the World type thing. Yeah. And then, uh, by the way, that the sounds like the that, kind of joke that uh, Robert Downey Jr. would have uh, just uh, improvised. <laughs> yeah, he might have actually made that in his, his own. Yeah, definitely. And then the other one was that uh, uh, what's her name? Black Widow showed weakness at some point in the trip. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. A character showed weakness. Bullshit. It was just like, well, if you're you're not going to allow any characters that are female to show weakness, you're going to make everything fucking boring. Yeah, females are never allowed to show weakness. They don't have any uh, emotions or whatever. We should. We are just fine. We are varmint. We are wrestling varmints like nobody's business. This is yeah. awesome. Sweet. I still say it's too bad you can't like bang them once you're done. That that would be like maximum the perfect HP, varmint. Maximum XP attained. We need to level up so let's uh let's call that a day because uh we might break the game if we do i mean there's really no downside losing a, we didn't lose that many credits no about and, 100 yeah i mean it's 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 almost like you can't lose because if you keep going getting the experience and then the credits i'll just see how much we get when we turn them in uh let's see turn in a varmint yes oh yeah uh let's see a five credit Oh, never mind. You can lose. So you're basic, but you're still just trading money for experience. 
even if you lose.